Good day. I am Mum Bing. Welcome to my general mathematics class. Hey, good day, everyone. So we are still in rational functions for week three. And let's have the content standard. So the learner demonstrates understanding of key cards key concepts of rational functions, and the performance standards if the learner is able to accurately formulate and solve real-life problems involving rational functions. So let's have the MELP, so, or the most essential learning competency. So the learner uh, solves problems involving rational functions, equations, and inequalities. So. This is the lesson two for this week. So solving real-life problems involving rational functions, equations, and inequality. So, but before that, let's have this activity. So we have to match and solve. We have to study the data inside the box and write it in the appropriate column on the next slide. So these are the choices that we have to write in the appropriate column on the next slide. Okay, this is the table that we are going to use and these are the choices. So we have five column table. So we have rational equation, solution to rational equations, rational functions, rational inequalities, and then the solution to rational inequalities. So let, let's begin with function of f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4 over x. So for an obvious reason, we have the function of f of x. So therefore, it will fall under column 3, which is a rational function. The next one is 4 over x minus 2 is greater than 2. So we have here an inequality symbol. Therefore, it will fall under column number four, which is a rational inequality. The next one, we have four over x is equal to x plus three over 10. Okay, so we have now here an equation. Therefore, it, it will fall uh, under column one, which is the rational equation. Then we have negative one is less than x, but x is less than five. So from this, we have uh, the answer or the solution to rational inequality. So it will fall under column 5. Then we have 3. So 3 is, is actually a solution to rational equation. Then we have 5. So just like 3, it is also a solution to rational equation. Then we have negative 2 less than x, but x is less than 0. So it is also a solution, but solution to rational inequality. Then we have 4 over x minus x minus 1 over 5 is equal to 14 over 15. And that will fall under column 1, which is a rational equation. Then we have x plus 1 over x minus 5 is less than and equal to 0. So for an obvious reason, it has an inequality symbol. Therefore, it will fall under column 4, which is rational inequality. And then the last one, we have y is equal to 1000 plus x over 20. So since it has a y, therefore, it will fall under column number three. Okay, there you go, and we are done. Now let's have this activity speed me up. Okay, so Mario rides his motorcycle in going to school. He drives at an average speed of 30 kilometers per hour. The distance between his house and the school is 15 kilometers. Every time he sees his best friend, Jessica, walking on the road, he invites her for a ride and lowers his speed. On the other hand, 
he increases his speed when he wakes up late for school. So this is the problem. Now this is the representation of the of Mario's house and the school. So on the left side is Mario's house, which is 15 kilometers away from the school. Now let's answer the following questions. So question number one. How long does it take Mario to reach school considering his average speed? So let's answer. So by using the formula T is equal to D over S or time is equal to the distance over speed, you get the time. So time is equal to 15 over 30, wherein your distance is 15 and the speed is 30. So T is equal to one half hour or 30 minutes. So it will take 30 minutes or it will take Mario 30 minutes to reach the school considering his average speed of 30. Now let's have question number two. So if X represents the time it takes Mario to drive to school with a given distance of 15 kilometers, how will you represent the relationship of his speed Y versus the time X? So let's answer. So since S is equal to D over T, we were able to write Y is equal to 15 over X. So since uh, speed is represented by y and time is represented by x. So we're in x is not equal to zero. Now let's have question number three. So suppose Mario's speed is unknown and represented by x. He lowers his speed by 10 kilometers per hour. How long will he reach the school given the same distance? So let's answer. So we are going to use the same formula. So we have T is equal to D over S or time is equal to distance over speed. So T is equal to 15. The distance is 15. And then the speed is 30, but he lowers his speed by 10 kilometers per hour. So we have T is equal to 15 over 30 minus 10. So we have T is equal to 15 over 20 or 3 port hour. So it will take Mario 45 minutes if he lowers his, his speed by 10 kilometers given the same distance. Now for question number 4. Suppose Mario's speed is unknown and represented by X and then he lowers his his speed by 10 kilometers per hour at a distance of 15 kilometers and reaches school at 3 fourth hours, how will you write the equation to his average speed x? Okay, so x represents Mario's speed. Lowering by 10 kilometers per hour will be written as x minus 10 and then the time is 3 fourth hour. So by using the same form, formula, we have T is equal to D over S, wherein T is the time, and then D is the distance, and S is the speed. So by, by substituting the given, we have T is equal to 15, then the speed is X minus 10, because the speed is unknown, but it, it, it lowers by 10. But the time is given, which is 3 fourth. Solving this equation, we will give you 30 as his average speed. But the question here is, what is the equation of the average speed? But if we solve this equation, we will get a 30 as his average speed. Okay, so when we solve it, so we have T as 3 fourth. And then 15 over x minus 10, then we have x is equal to 30.
Then we have question number five. So Maria's average speed was 30 kilometers per hour. He plans to drive for another 30 kilometers from school. How long will it take him to cover the whole distance, yung house to school, to 30 kilometers from school? So with additional 30 kilometers, total distance now is 45 kilometers. Since the speed remains at 30 kilometers per hour, per hour, what is the time? So the same formula, we have T is equal to D over S, which is time is equal to distance over speed. So T is 45 for the distance and then 30 for the speed or 1.5 hours. So it will take uh, 1.5 hours Mario to reach the school. Oh. Now, for the, for the last question, question number six, so we have if Mario drives another X kilometers from his school at an average speed of 30 kilometers per hour and he plans to drive in at most two hours, how will you write the inequality to find the additional distance? So we're going to find the inequality. So an additional distance will be represented by x and the total distance now will be 15 plus x. Since the speed remains at 30 kilometers per hour, the time required now is at most 2 hours. So from the same formula, but this time we're going to use an inequality symbol. So D for distance and S for speed and then T for time. So we have a distance of 15 plus X and then the speed of 30. So we have 15 plus X over 30 is less than or equal to 2. So we can solve for the value of x. So x now is less than or equal to 45. So Mario needs to travel an additional distance at not more than 45 kilometers to spend at most 2 hours. Okay, now let's have another example in solving a rational equation, rational function and inequality into real life situation. So we are going to uh, relate this into real life situation. So we have uh, this example. So we have Tansa National Comprehensive High School is preparing for its 25th founding anniversary. The chairperson the chairperson of the activity allocated 90,000 from different stakeholders to, to be divided among various committees of the celebration. Construct a function C of N, which would give the amount of money each of the N numbers of committees would receive. If there are six committees, how much would each committee have? Okay, so let's have the solution. Let C of N is equal to 90,000 over N be the function of the problem. Now, if there, are, if there are six committees, N is equal to 6. So we have C of 6 or the function of C of 6 is equal to 90,000 divided by 6. So we have 15,000. So therefore, each committee will receive 15,000 pesos. So another example, Barangay Daang Maria Dos allocated a budget amounting to 100,000 to provide relief goods for each family in the barangay due to the COVID-19 pandemic situation. The amount is to be allotted equally among all the families in the barangay. At the same time, a philanthropist wants to supplement this budget and he allotted an additional 500 pesos to be received by each family. Write an equation representing the relationship of the allotted amount per, per family, y variable, versus the total number of families, x variable, how much will be the amount 
of each relief box if there are 200 families in the barangay. Okay, so let's have the solution. So let y is equal to 100,000 divided by x plus 500 be the function of the problem. Let x be the number of families in the barangay. So since ang x natin is 200 families, so we have x is equal to 200. Now, substitute to the function. So we have y is equal to 100,000 divided by 200 plus 500 y is equal to 1,000. Therefore, the amount of each relief box to be distributed to each family is worth 1,000 pesos. Now, for the last example on this topic, we have this activity. So, we have Vincent is a farmer. He loves to plant vegetables. He found that the area of his rectangular garden is 200 square meters. Let x represent the width of his garden in meters. Express the length of the garden L as a function of width x. Now, let's complete the following to solve the, this problem, the last problem on this topic. So let's have letter A. So the formula in finding the area of a rectangle is A is equal to L multiplied by width or area is equal to the length multiplied by the width. So that is the area or the formula of finding the area of rectangle. Now let's have letter B. Given an area A and width X, the formula in finding uh, the length L of a rectangle is. So we are going to find now for the length. So L is equal to A over X or length is equal to the area divided by the width which is represented by X. Now let's have letter C. Using the formula, we may express the length of the garden L as the function of width x as the function of L of x is equal to 200 divided by x since the area given is 200. Okay, this is the last uh, example on the topic in solving for the real life problems involving uh, rational function, rational equation, and rational inequalities. Now, for the performance task and the assessment, you may go to our, uh, to your respective Google Classroom to answer the assessment and the performance task. You may also find this video in your Google Classroom. Okay, that would be all for today and thank you. God bless.